We found this hairpiece in the vicinity of the failed bomb attempt. Have you seen it before? What can you tell me about this wig? It's your basic Irish jig. Your basic wig. Did you fit it? <clears throat> Maybe. That you would recognize? Yeah, but it's a stock model. That's your job. You have an eye for these things. It would have to be a perfect match. Not necessarily. Do I know you? No. Color of the hair, the dimension of the baldness, whether it was curly or not. Sometimes it don't match. What's that? Sometimes we're in a rush. Well, you wouldn't put a curly-haired wig on a straight-haired man. We might. <laughs> <laughs> we could get away with it. If he's a cheapo, then he gets a cheapo deal. A cheapo wig. But he'd look the right heel. That rhymed. So it did. This wig has been chewed up by dogs. Do you have a dog? No. What about you? I hate dogs. This wig could have been changed, could have been dyed a different color. Did you sell a similar model of a different color? I don't think so. Look, we're businessmen. He's a Protestant, I'm a Catholic. We're not going to run some plaid sample wigs. What, huh? No, that's it. This is a sample wig? Um, uh, maybe. You've never sold a sample wig? The sample wig is not supposed to be sold. How many sample wigs were you given? One. One. Where is it now? Do you have it with you? Uh, I don't know where it is right now. I would have to look for it. Yes, well, that would be nice. Now, what day is this? Christmas just around the corner. Father Christmas. Presents. And what comes after Christmas? What? Not taxes. I'm going to give you two weeks. Jog the memory. Dig up the old sample wig. And if at that point you still can't recall, I'm going to insist you give me every receipt, every order form, every bank statement, and every phone bill since you two, you two freaks, started your little business. Mm -hmm.